In this video, you will learn how to divide polynomials. And since galing pa rin ito sa module, hindi natin i-mention kung saan ko talaga ito nakuha, kung kaninong post ito. Ang instruction dito ay divide each of the following using two methods. Hindi ko alam kung anong ibig sabihin ng two methods dito kasi hindi naman pinakita yung example. Ito lang yung binigay or ito lang yung nakuha ko. So, yung two methods na yan, ang isa sa ipapakita ko ay yung long division of polynomials by binomials. Let's begin. This is x squared minus 7x plus 10 divided by x minus 5. Baka lang yung isang method na tinutukoy dito sa instruction na two methods, baka lang na yun ay yung i-factor out natin itong polynomial natin. Kasi kung i-factor out natin yan, gawa natin ito ng dalawang bahay. So this is x. Tapos, hanapan natin ng factors si 10 in such a way kapag I-add or subtract natin ay ang sagot ay negative 7. And that is 5 at 2. 5 plus 2 equals 7. Ngayon, negative man yan siya. So, ibig sabihin that is negative. So, ito na yung factor out mismo sa polynomial natin. So, pwede na natin siyang i-divide sa x minus 5. May kapariho man siya. So, i-cancel mo lang yan. Ang sagot ay x minus 2. Yan na yung sagot. Now, let's do the long division method. x squared minus 7x plus 10 divided by x minus 5 x squared divided by x and that is x x times x is equals to x squared x times negative 5 and that is negative 5x mag minus na tayo x squared minus x squared zero na yan siya so negative 7x minus negative 5x and this is negative 2x. Paano nangyari yan, ma'am? Huwag yung kalimutan i-change yung sign. Anyway, ilalagay ko sa description ng video ito yung na-upload na natin dati about how to subtract unlike signs. That we should change the sign dito sa subtrahin natin. Kasi negative yan, magiging positive, tapos magiging add. Then, unlike sign siya, so, mag-minus tayo, that is 2. At kopyahin yung merong malaking value, yung sign na may malaking value, which is yung negative. Kaya, negative 2x. Again, ilalagay ko sa description ng video ito, yung na-upload na natin dati. Next, i-drop natin si plus 10. Now, negative 2x divided by x. And that is negative 2. Next, negative 2 times x is equals to negative 2x. Negative 2 times negative 5 and that is positive 10. Kapag i-minus na natin yan, wale na dito. So therefore, ito na yung sagot. x minus 2. Now, let's do number 2 para mas lalo niyong maintindihan kung paano mag-divide ng polynomials. This is x squared plus x minus 20 divided by x minus 4. Since ito ay ma-factor out natin ng bongga, hanapan natin ng, ay gawa natin siya ng bahay-bahay muna. x. Tapos si 20, hanapan natin siya ng mga factors in such a way na ang difference ay 1 lang. And that is 5 at 4. Since itong si x, positive yan siya. So, nandito yung positive at ito naman yung negative. 
So, yan na yung factors dito. Pwede na natin siyang i-divide dito sa x minus 4. Again, meron siyang kapariho. So, ang sagot dito ay itong x plus 5. Yan na yung sagot dito. Now, let's do the long division method. x squared plus x minus 20. I-divide natin dito sa x minus 4. First step. x squared divided by x and that is x. x times x equals x squared x times negative 4 and that is negative 4 x pwede na tayong mag subtract x squared minus x squared wala na yan x minus negative 4 x and that is positive 5 x uulitin ko wag kalimutang mag change ng sign Magiging positive ang negative. Ang negative magiging positive. Tapos, yung minus sign natin ay plus sign. So, 1 plus 4 equals 5. Next, kulayan lang natin ito ng red para klaro sa inyo yung mga colors ba. Tapos, i-drop natin si negative 20. Next, 5x divided by x is equals to positive 5. 5 times x is equals to 5x. 5 times negative 4 and that is negative 20. So, i-minus na natin yan. So, that is 0. In other words, ito na yung sagot. x plus 5. Now, let's do Number 3. Medyo, ilan ba to? Polynomials. 1, 2, 3, 4. Apat yan sila. Gawin na natin yung long division. So, this is x uh, cubed plus 3x squared plus 5x plus 3 divided by x plus 1. Again. Dito ka pa rin mag x cubed divided by x and that is x squared. Now, x squared times x, that is x cubed. x squared times 1 and that is 1x squared or x squared lang. Kasi ang coefficient sa lahat ng mga variables kapag hindi, tayo, hindi natin sinusulat yan, that is still equivalent to 1. Now, pwede na tayong mag-subtract. 3x squared minus x squared and that is 2x squared. Again, kulayan ulit natin ito ng red. Tapos, i-drop natin itong 5x. Dito ulit tayo, 2x squared divided by x and that is plus 2x. Now, plus 2x times x is equals to 2x squared. 2x times 1 and that is positive 2x. At i-minus na natin yan siya. 2x squared minus 2x squared, 0 na yan. 5x minus 2x and that is 3x. Next, i-drop natin si plus 3. Again, ito pa 3x, yung first ba. 3x divided by x, and that is plus 3. 3 times x, and that is 3x. 3 times 1, and that is plus 3. I-minus natin yan. So, 0 na yan. So, ito na yung sagot. x squared plus 2x plus 3. Hanggang dito na lang muna and I hope meron kayong natutunan sa video ito. At kayo na ang mag-solve dito sa number 4 at number 5. By the way, bago mo yan i-solve, i-arrange mo muna siya. Ito mo ng 2x cube bago 
Bago yan, ito munang 5x squared tapos si negative 8x minus 4 bago ka mag-divide. Ganon din ang gagawin mo dito, i-arrange mo muna. And by the way, kapag hindi to siya ma-perfectly divide, ito yung gawin mong denominator sa remainder mo. Yung bali yung remainder mo, gawin mo siyang numerator, tapos ito yung magiging denominator just in case Kung pagka-solve nyo dito sa number 4 at number 5, hindi siya perfectly ma-divide dito sa x plus 5 or itong x plus 2. Thank you at abangan yung mga future videos natin. At kung gusto nyong masundan yung mga upload natin, pwede kayong mag-subscribe at i-click nyo yung notification bell. Thank you.